out here today. Good Wednesday practice, you know, good, uh, very competitive way to end the day as well. Um, that being said, questions? How Forsyth and Stevens looking? Forsyth is 100% done everything. Stevens, it's going to be, uh, I think we'll know about tomorrow where he's going to be at. But, you know, we're going, we're progressing cautiously with him, but he's done a good job. Apple's good to go? Apple's good to go. Is Forsyth, you say he's 100% good to go, does that mean like it's a, you just wait and see it on game day, or is he <laughs> like you fully expecting him to play? I think we'll have this conversation. We've had it four weeks right. in a row, so I hate to sure. say one thing and then, you know. That's just what I'm trying to clarify. It's the same as previous or feel great about it so because it's been um, unpredictable so to speak I'm gonna just say that's where he's at right now we've done everything possible with him and he's practiced full throttle every rep so we're good has Ryan done enough in center to make that a competition or is he the center if he's assuming he's available well there's flexibility there it's always going to be a competition you know Dawson's in there getting some reps at center too um, all those guys we, we snap you know about four guys during a week in practice in case something may happen you know, when and right now, that's you know the move is one of those two guys. So, looking at uh, Washington offense and defense, are there teams that you've played already that they are similar to? I, I asked this because Chase Garbers said that they did so well against Oregon State because they played against them that kind of defense all the time at Cal. Is there something somewhat similar? How important is that? Well, I mean, there's. Uh, we have some similarities in the defensive stuff we do and some of the teams that we have played. I think in this conference, you'll see a 40 to 60% carryover week to week. There are some things, and they do some really unique things as well. This all in all, it's a very talented outfit, uh, some really good football players. Certainly have a size advantage of receiver compared to their corners, but their pass defense has been outstanding. Just what have you seen particularly from McDurf, McDuffie and Radley Hiles? Really talented guys, play really well, use good technique. Fast, explosive guys, good tacklers, uh, disciplined eyes. It's really good football players. Coach, I'm assuming you heard the comments from Jimmy Lake earlier this week. Curious mm -hmm. if you have any thoughts on it. Every single ounce of our focus on the game. Do you believe in bulletin board material? I mean, do you guys use that internally at all, those kind of comments? In bulletin board material? Like, does that resonate at all? Um, no, it never really has, but I, I'm familiar with the concept, but it doesn't, uh, it's not the thing for us. I'm sure guys here and see things, but, you know, we, uh, we were just very real. We, we, you know, we don't ignore, we acknowledge, we move on. Do you consider you, your staff, to have recruiting rivals, or is it just about what you guys do and what other people do, whether it be here, there, or we anywhere? We do our job to the best of our ability. Uh, we believe in our processes, trust our eyes, trust our evaluations and our assessments. And uh, we respectfully recruit the guys that we feel are the very best in the country. With the rankings last night, beyond number four and all that, again, it only matters like you point out, if you keep winning. But many have made the observation about the 2015 Bama staff and that the four of you are in the top four. Do you think there's something to that, that Nick and Kirby and you and Mel are leading teams that are up there right now? I, I don't know. I don't. I haven't, don't really have time to assess stuff like that. I know those guys really well. I uh, had the honor of working with them. Great guys, great coaches. I'm sure every single one of the guys mentioned are doing the exact same thing and focusing on being one to know. Coach, it's hard to ignore that those rankings came out yesterday. Obviously, you guys saw them. What was the team's reaction, and how do you respond to something like that going forward? Well, I don't think it's a matter of ignoring at all. I think you acknowledge it, and you make sure that it's just not part of your process. It never was to this point, so... Um, I mean, we're in week, what are we in, nine? Game number nine. There's a lot of football to be played, and you can't even look past this game. You can't even think about the other games coming down the stretch. So I think all that stuff, again, it's part of, you know, what we do for a living, but it's not part of our daily process. It's not part of the mindset. It's not part of our motivation. I mean, it's, it's just part of the big picture. Is there any sort of amplified energy because of that ranking or considering Saturday is the rivalry game? Or is it just same business Rivalries as always? Rivalries in general always bring out more intensity, more, it's more of everything, right? They bring out the best and the worst in everybody all the time. And that's why college football is the best sport on earth. It just, there's a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion, a lot of passion, pageantry, you name it. And, um, you know, again, tremendous rivalry. Looking forward to Saturday. You always talk about control things that you can control and the path, though, is where if you control, you win your games, you kind of control your own destiny. Is that at least a positive to look at these rankings, knowing that 
you worry about and can control the things that you can control. But, you, know, I think, you know, when you mention rankings again, it's not, it's not part of our, what we do. You know, what we're looking at is today's practice, tonight's meetings, whatever walkthroughs we have tomorrow, uh, just one step at a time. We're not even in tomorrow's walkthroughs yet. We're still, right now, we're trying to get these guys class in time, you know, make sure they got a, a belly full of food to make sure they're recovering, taking care of their business, get them back and clean up this film. So a lot of work to do to prepare, in preparation for this game. So that being the case, again, that works for us. It's not going to be, uh, it's probably going to be the most boring press conference we have because it's going to be the redundancy <laughs> of that's what we're doing. But to be honest with you, that's what we're doing. You know, that's what we're doing. But, I, you know, the, the juicy response ain't going to come out, man. You know, you guys know me by now. You, you mentioned the rivalry, aspects of rivalries in general. Mm -hmm. Is there an unfinished element because of last year and the no contest and tweets about about division championships and all those sorts of things. I just think you keep going this way, and I keep bringing it back to this way. <laughs> We're focused on this game, and that's what it's about. One and zero. Offense had its best day of the year. How was, I guess, the last couple of days coming off so much success? How have they responded in practice? Or how's that going? Well, you know, when you have a day like that, um, you start to see all all your work pay off a little bit more. Guys get really enthused about how you know where the playbook is growing. Um, our execution is getting better, and that's what it really came down to. We've been playing hard all year, but we executed better. So pouring more focus into that, pouring more energy into each other, to the teammates, to make sure that we lift each other up and just really just ignite our sense of urgency for high-level execution. You know, that's what, you know, at this time of year, your technique, your fundamentals, your level of execution, your attention to details, your physicality, your effort, your finish, all those things have to be elevating bit by bit teams that don't are the ones that that suffer you know in November when bodies are more sore right beat up a little bit and you're going down the stretch the weather changes the games are rivalry games more difficult you know opponents so all that stuff right now the little things the one and knows and all those things are what really come to the forefront of our, of our preparation talked about playing your best football at the end of the year. Do you feel like you're on that kind of trajectory where you're, you're going in that direction? We're striving for it. You know, I think there's flashes, and you know, I think uh, there's been some moments uh, during the season where you feel like you're getting there, and then you have a frustrating you know, little setback, or you don't get quite the result that you want, but you feel like, man, there's, you're always honest with yourself. Are you close? Is it fixable? Or is, are you a world away? And we always felt like there were things that as we progressed and just got a little bit better here and improved a little bit better over there, that things were going to start clicking. We feel things are clicking, but we feel still that we, we still feel that there is a, a big chunk that's right there in front of us that we got to get better at. And there's a very strong drive towards doing that. And that's that's where the focus is, quite honestly. There's a, if you were out there in practice, all you're seeing is us working on the things that we feel could make us a good football team and nothing else, just getting after it. A big chunk uh, more on offense or defense or about the same, or can you say what part of the game might be, need better? I think it's everywhere. I think it's everywhere because the, the big goal is to have consistency, right? And that's one thing where there's finally some progress there. Well, to be consistent, you gotta be consistent, right? So it's gotta keep showing up again and again. It starts with practice. It's starting to show up in practice more consistently. Um, we're pushing the tempo, we're pushing the level of urgency, of execution, of competition every way, shape, or form possible, and we expect to have results because of that. Mario, something we see surprisingly year after year in college football is players crossing the goal line thinking they've scored a touchdown and dropping the ball before uh, they're actually in the end zone. Have you ever had a conversation with your ball carriers about that? And are you, do you think it, it's something you, your team would ever uh, find themselves in the situation? Do I think our team would ever do that? Well, I mean, as much emphasis as we place on the importance of doing things the right way, I would hope not. If we do, God might as well keep running up the tunnel in the locker room, you know? I don't want to see him, you know? Score appropriately, give the ball to the official. Let's go next play. I'll sort, of, I'll sort of that same note. You guys didn't commit a penalty in the first half against Colorado. I think you had five on the day. Is that an area where you feel like you guys have really started to clean things up? Last game we did, we try to clean it up every day. You see officials are here every single day. Uh, we do force some more opponent penalties than probably anybody in the conference because we do play aggressively. With that, you got to stay on the, you know, it's not a fine line, it's a clear line, and you got to stay on this side of it. And sometimes we've treaded over it. And that's where we have, at least last game, we improved on that part. We improved, and we got to keep improving. 
down the stretch right turnovers and penalties you see it continue to show up in wins and losses around the country so we still got to get better in these types of games Last rivalries question. we always see emotions sometimes spill out on the onto the field do, do you like your team playing with emotion or do you want to be pretty even keeled in a game like this especially on the road where they want to air quote ruin, ruin the season type deal i think when you play the game of football your levels of passion have to be through the roof and beyond and that can never ever change and anyone who I've never played with anyone, coached with anyone that can honestly just say or feel any differently. I mean, football is the greatest sport on the face of the earth. It's our passion. We're looking forward to an awesome opportunity.